here with Alan. He came in to meet with me from New York a couple months ago. I wrote him an equation. We're going to go ahead and go over that right now. It's meal plans and uh, training equations. So this is uh, meal one through seven. Go ahead and start, buddy. All right, great. So all in all, it's been a very good program. I felt a lot of changes um, in, in, in the way I developed since I've gotten this two months ago. Uh, broke it down into three parts. There's uh, diet, there's uh, training, and then there's supplements. Uh, but, and then, um, so starting with the diet, the, um, we have, you have me come in here on the, at 7 a.m. With, with, with oatmeal and um, supplements. Okay. Um, I do this, you know, you know, on weekends and, um, you know, whenever I have extra time. So wait, wait, wait. Right now we have a half a cup of gluten-free oats right. and a scoop of casing with some Udo's oil. Right. What about the time frame of cooking a half a cup of oats for three minutes and putting a scoop of protein in it? And adding oil to it is making it difficult for you. Literally, that's like that whole process of actually doing it and eating it and leaving it. I do it every morning. It's I put it in a bowl. It takes me three minutes. It takes me another two minutes to eat it. And well, maybe three. And what I'll do is I'll add a little cold water to it to to bring it down from the microwave. And of course, hiding the oil makes it taste good. So that ten minutes is what's bogging you down. It's Fifteen for me. But yes, Fifteen. Okay, that, fair so enough. So what, what I ended up doing was this. I ended up like switching to do like, like just a quick eat when I wake up, okay. berries and, and uh, egg whites, and then I'll do my oatmeal in place of my second meal at 10 o'clock. Okay, so right now at the second meal we have uh, chicken breast, some okay. salad, some broccoli, or a Power Crunch bar, right. which is just a, a quick to-go bar. Um, when you say berries, how, how many berries? I'll do like um, 10 to 15 raspberries blackberries or blueberries. Okay, so something quick. And what else with that again? Um, egg whites, how many? Two, one to two. Two one, egg whites. One to two. So you're replacing my 32 grams of protein with uh, six grams of protein. Oh no, wait, I will also do, I'll also do a shake. So I'll also, I'll, I So will, you'll, you'll have the casing yeah. shake with it? Right. Okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right, moving forward. Yeah. So then, so then, um, yeah, like every morning I'll do a shake. I'll even have one pre-made, right. pre, 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 pre so I'll just gobble it down. That's fine with me, down. okay. Great. So then... And that's with the glutamine and the pills and the correct. carnitine, okay. Correct. Uh, second meal, I'll do the... I, I, I replace this for the, uh, for the oatmeal, because this is usually my oatmeal okay. uh, meal. Um, and then my third meal, what I'll end up having to do is I order a grilled chicken lunch thing with brown rice and a vegetable. And then I'll eat half of it at this time and the other half at that time. That's kind of been my okay. my switch. CLA enzymes, no problem. I've been doing that, all good. Enzymes, animal cuts. So I'm doing animal cuts three times a day here. Um, well, that's the oxy, right? So now I've been doing twice. Twice, so I'm doing it fine. So and the replacement for that right now, I've been rotating it off. I've done like green coffee bean and the um, um, berry. What do they call that? green tea berry thing. Okay. And, and I'm fine with all that, but we just have to take a break. So you can cycle on and off of them. Right. But every once in a while you take a six week break and let your adrenal glands catch up. Right. Otherwise we, we burn you out. And I mean, you got to figure anytime you take one of those, it's worth, and now you get it because you got the heart rate monitor. When you pop those, it's worth about 200 calories to you. If you, if you just basify it as, as much as you can, right? 200 calories. Out. Out, right. You're taking that fat burner. It's going to, it's the thermogen. It's going to heat up your body and it's basically going to be worth about 200 calories to you. So then you say, okay, is that worth the trade for maybe some of the health uh, consequences that I'm going to suffer from these stimulants, which is why we cycle on and off of them so we don't have to worry about it. But in the end game, I can have you stand on that thing for 15 minutes and you get your 200 calories. Yeah. So it is a huge help, but it's not, it's not the miracle. Go ahead. Right. Right. Okay, great. So then, um, so then I'll, do my, I'll do my meal three, Prior, an hour or two before my, my workout, my workouts, and then 30 minutes before I'll do my pre-drink as well. I usually throw a little protein sometimes in there, uh, you know, between, between this meal, just to kind of like compensate for maybe not having as much protein here okay. in the shake. And then what I'll do is, um, in the middle of my workout, I'll have with me, I'll drink the, the pre-drink in the middle of my workout with, um, what's that, what's that, um, the beta carrot, the beta something? What's beta that? alanine? Alanine, right. Okay. Um, so then, 
my post meal, my post uh, drink right after I work out of the gym, I'm doing a um, the, the the drink. Um, if it's at work, it's a little complicated to do it quite like this. So I'll just have a little protein. Then when I get home, I'll make this more elaborate, you know, combination of everything here. Now, is this on days where you do train? You're still taking that? Uh, yes. Or, uh, excuse me. On the days you don't train, you're don't still taking. Don't train. I'm taking. I'm taking it, but I'm probably like doing it like less. I'm taking. I'm doing things a little bit less. But I'm okay. still taking all the pills. It's just more like maybe I'm not having as much protein in a, in a drink. Okay. And you're doing it with or without the sugar? Uh, sugar, mean, sugar being the, um, the, uh, the mix, the DGC. Yes. Which is no, I, I will eliminate the sugar from Okay. My, from then my, great. Okay. Um, right. So then, um, and then an hour after training, uh, or this is, and then, so this is, so this is, so after I'm having, a, I'm having my fourth meal, which is, I'm counting the, the meal replacements, or excuse me, the whey proteins as your fourth meal. Okay. And your fifth meal, uh, basically these two equal a fourth, and your fifth would uh, be the casein shake. All right, so then basically, that means I'm not eating any more yes. real food after three o'clock. Yeah. That's hard, that's hard. Yeah. You know why? Because if I let you have anything, you would eat it. And I found out your eating and drinking was all happening at night. So if I just removed all options for it, then that means when you did it, it was guaranteed cheat. You know you're cheating. If I say, hey, um, go ahead and have a normal dinner, I'm gonna, you're gonna find yourself at a restaurant eating um, ranch dressing on top of the salad, which isn't on this white piece of paper. So I did remove all that. Um, you said, you know, Kimberly, every once in a while I'm gonna go out and have a glass of wine, I'm gonna do this. I want that to be there every once in a while. And it's gonna be so apparent that those nights are taking you away from your goal that you would eventually stop so go ahead and go and sit at dinner with somebody and have a drink but if there's food in your body then your body can't digest the food so i'd rather see you just get hammered with no food three hours before three hours after then you don't have anything rotting in your belly so the alcohol doesn't equal like three where your body's just storing fat because you had alcohol storing fat because you had food those two equal three alcohol alone equals one that's why i did that Okay, so that's probably like where I must readjust the most because what would end up happening would be like after my workout I'd have like some more like a protein like a piece of meat or some Do you know why? You're still hungry, right? Actually, you know what? I, 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 I kind of was not so, so hungry. I just kind of felt that it would help my reduction. So you're eating and you're not hungry? Not exactly. I was are you, more are you trying to lose weight? Yes. I'm trying to get more to So eating, eating when you're not hungry makes sense to you? No, it felt more... It felt more like I should be, it would help me with you know, the protein, help me, help me get bigger. I helped you with protein. You got a whole page here full of it. So then, the, so then I guess the difficult thing about it would be then having any kind of solid food after three o'clock would make it hard. Especially after a big workout. I'm doing like a big like cardio, like 40 minutes of cardio, and mm -hmm. then a big training. I'm gonna be, I will be hungry sometime before I go to sleep at 11 Sure, that's the idea. I want you to go to bed hungry. The reason why is your metabolism drops. You're not burning any more calories. The more food I put in after is just gonna basically sit there because you're slowing down. You're gonna go home and chill, right? Yeah. So we're burning way less calories. I need a good 10 to 12 hour fast between breakfast. Okay. So when I stop you from eating, I could just say, okay, you get up at seven, your last meal's at seven. It's the same thing as what I said here. That's a 12 hour fast. Now what I'm also saying is, is you gotta get your 2000 calories um, in that 12 hours that you're awake. So if you have five meals, you're eating every two and a half hours. If you're not hungry in the morning, I guarantee you, you'll start taking the time to make that breakfast if you don't eat late at night. Because you'll be starving. Actually, there have been mornings where I've been like, oh, I'm famished. You're absolutely right. Famished, okay, yeah. perfect. What does famished mean? While you're sleeping, your body's burning fat. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You're laying there, you're laying there, and you just, all you have to do is just, God help me go to bed hungry. And you wake up and you've lost some weight. You've let your body reset. It got to digest all the food inside and it released the hormones that are supposed to be released when you don't eat right before you go to bed. So you're robbing yourself of those hormones. And, and on top of that, in theory, if your body's not digesting food all the time, nonstop, like Americans have the body doing, then it has a chance to maybe be a little uh, preventative maintenance toward something else going wrong with your body. That attention that it's, that it's using to digest food, for lack of better words, a computer, I'm allowing that the, the rest of the computer to work. I'm allowing the rest of my body to prevent something. 
or to fix something else besides digest food. Okay, so I'm going to readjust. I'm going to go back to my program. I'm going to readjust and try to implement this. Now, now. if you're telling me, Kimberly, I get what you're saying. I get it. But inside my heart, I know I'm going to go home and do something different. Then let's adjust it now. Okay, so fine. So I would like to make some adjustments. No, it's okay. Um, let's go back to the beginning. In the morning, I've got you eating uh, gluten-free oats, casein, protein. You're doing this about two of the seven days. Right. No, three, three, yeah, yeah. Three, three yeah. of the seven days. On the other mornings, you're doing um, two egg whites and a scoop of protein and your berries. Right. Or, Make or, a shake. And, and, or nuts. Uh, wait, 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 nuts? Very, very infrequently doing nuts. I don't do nuts at night since our last conversation. Yeah, but I don't have nuts anywhere on here. I, you're right. So how did nuts make it into your body? Well, they come with the package. Right? What package? <laughs> you buy that thing at... Um... Trader Joe's? Yeah. Be honest with me. In the last two months, have you bought a packet? Yeah, I, I, I bought packets. So you bought packets knowing that it's not on here? Uh, yes. How does yes. that make sense to you? It does not make sense to me. <laughs> I love you. Okay, we got to go through this. This is, this is the tears part of it. This is the, the really, really hard part. So how... Um, you know, talk to the camera. Tell, tell the camera. Tell yourself as you're going to be watching this. Okay, so how I, are you buying things that are not in on this piece of paper? So I remember a conversation that we had uh, last time I was here where he just got, or he's one of his clients did things that he did based on what he thought was better than what was on this paper. And I found myself doing the exact same thing. So I am guilty of. of I want you to watch his transformation video. Did you see that? Yes. Okay, so I mean, you saw me edit a bunch of stuff, but in the end it said, I mean, it was huge. Popcorn. Yeah, you remember the popcorn. Some dang popcorn was killing him. At night. So you're nuts. 24 of them equal 200 calories or whatever it is. And, and by the way, when you're having nuts with your protein, it slows it down. You're trying to break a fast, so you're putting in a, a kind of a, uh, you know, the egg whites break down pretty quickly, but when you attach them to a fat, they, they are slower to get into the body. So your, your fast isn't as broken as quickly. But either way, keep going. Okay, so, so every once in a while we do some nuts. Um, just because it's a handful and I can jump out and run out. Um, okay, no more nuts. Soul nuts. Okay. Um, <laughs> What's funny is you get to listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, my, the, if we can adjust it, right, so okay. that this would be better for me. If we can adjust it so that I'm doing a quicker out the door when I wake up, a 10 o'clock, you know, uh, some concoction that I can do at work, like a glute, like a, like a, like do, you, a do you know what I do? On the mornings where I know that I'm gonna be up and just out the door, I take that gluten-free oats and scoop of casing and oil, and I mix it up the night before. I put it in the fridge, right, and, and I it swear it. it tastes like porridge the next morning. Oh, it's so you, cold, it's like, oh, yeah, 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 oh it's okay. so good. The texture, everything is just, it, it, I mean, if you're into that, right? No, that's a good idea, I can do it. Rice pudding, you know, that, that kind of texture. So it depends on how loose you leave it. You know, you can add more water, be a little more soupy, or you can uh, make it thick. Good idea. That's so, very good. No, but can, but okay, other than that, if you are going to add oats to your shake, and that is an option, and I'm okay with that because the numbers are exactly the same. This Power Crunch bar has uh, 12 grams of fat in it. Okay, so to me, um, if you're going to add fat here, you don't get to add fat here. So you're giving up that, that bar if you're going to have those nuts. Okay. And then that'll keep your fat the same. So my, my diet is in a sense uh, being adjusted, but the, the macros inside of it are the same, which is fine to me. And then the times in which you eat them are, neg are negotiable. Okay. Um, so now, can, are you ever doing just the five ounces of chicken and uh, salad and broccoli? It's hard, and I'll tell you why, because my most days when I'm at work, the restaurants don't open until like, you know, like they won't deliver that early on if they deliver that food. So it's a little harder. I'll sometimes try to bring it into work. And you know, and when I first got out of here in September, I was doing a good job with that. But that's the tough one. So I'll end up, you know, you know, and we're not cooking. Uh, and I do remember that. That was just not an option. No, no, no. Cooking is not is, isn't a, is, is an option. I, just, okay. I have cooking. I have taken it to work. It, it's not an issue for me. I cook. It just becomes like something that I'll end up eating like when I get home for more. But how, why would you do that if I've got you eating it at ten? And then that's kind of where you know that that's another one of the disconnections. Okay. So I've got you, and, and here I've even got you with a half a cup of quinoa. Right. Okay. So those are carbs mixed with protein. Um, so what you're doing is you're taking your carbs from 10 in the morning and putting them at 7 o'clock at night. No, actually, when I do this at 7 o'clock at night thing, it's, you know, I, I, I eliminate a lot of the carbs. So it's mostly just protein. Okay. 
I bought, the, I bought the bag of those bags. By and the way. what is this meal usually now? It's oatmeal and it's oatmeal and uh, that's it. It's basically just oatmeal. Oatmeal. So, this so be, this became wait, wait, wait. So we went from um, oatmeal or more berries. So more carbs and no protein. What builds muscle? Protein. And what did you just eliminate from your diet? Just in the morning, protein. Okay. And but we're going to put it in at night when our body can't digest it. Or in the afternoon. And in the night, yeah. Right. That's why I have the okay. Of the day. Um, the threshold for protein is about 50. Meaning what? There's arguments all day long about how much your body can digest right. at one time of protein. So I like to err on the side of the argument that I believe in, and that's about 50 grams. So what I've done is I've broken up your protein intake by between 30 and 50 grams all the way through your day. Now, if you wanted to, you say, Kimberly, okay, I can only do four meals a day. Well, if I'm trying to get uh, 250 grams of protein in you, well, four into 250. Now we're going to 60 grams per meal. If you miss one of them, then all of a sudden you're back down to 200. Now we're not putting on muscle. Okay. And most likely your body's gonna need the amount of calories that I'm giving you, even, this is a negative. So you're gonna replace that protein with something else that is not protein, and that totally goes away from what we're doing. Can't build muscle without protein. And I felt that, you know, even with deviation, I still feel that, you know, my oh, protein intake is, you know, times four. Um, and that I have felt a difference. In Agreed. Person. But that's like going to work and telling your boss, hey, I started going a different direction. You know, he, he complains every day you're late to work. And you show up 10 minutes less late. Mm -hmm. And he's like, and you're so excited. My gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I almost made it. And your boss is going, yeah, but you didn't make it. You're still late. I don't care if you took a different route that's different than the, the same route you were taking for months when you never got here on time. Now you're a little bit closer to getting here on time and congratulations, you found another route, but find another one, that's still not good enough. So that's what you're telling me. And I wouldn't word it like that if you hadn't said, David, I want the expedited route. Okay. I'm the man, I wanna knock this thing out. I understand that the sooner I get this fat off me, the sooner my body will absorb this skin and I'll worry about muscle in the meantime. So keep going. So, um, so that's where we stand. So if we want to, you know, play around with readjusting the. Okay, food. our readjustment would be: we take this casein protein down here, mm -hmm. and we put it with this meal too. Okay, good. So that's basically your first two meals of the day are a protein shake. Got it. I, uh, you're gonna have your carbs, and I'm still okay with that. Um, meal three, you're looking at um, your brown rice, okay? Mm -hmm. And by the way, you, you got to cut all that out now. Um, a chicken breast, some tenderloins, uh, four ounces of a, of a beef, your veggies and salad. How often are you doing this one? Pretty often, it's pretty regular. Okay, so this is the salad you can uh, order from the store. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're and typically what I've done is, you know, I've gone, I have done the six egg white replacements. I've done that. Okay. Um, I've done the, you know, you know, I'll kind of just double this and then just have it here and here. I don't know if that's okay. That's okay. What do you mean double it? Like instead of like I'll do twelve egg whites. No, like I'll do like I'll order one cup of brown rice okay. and two chicken breasts. I'll have one here and, and that's and fine with me. Half half. That's yeah. great. Where are there any vegetables anywhere in your day? Yeah. So I'll do like these two will have vegetables. In. What kind of vegetables? Uh, broccoli, zucchini. I know peppers any, are good. Any salad dressings on any of this stuff? Um, Eating it plain. What's going on in your rice? Any any let's bells see what's and whistles? Happening. Okay. Teriyaki? Anything? So I'm doing. Okay, that's another thing too. So, 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 so there will be days, right? Okay. Where this meal will be consisting of a of a salad okay. with, um, with with tuna. Okay. Right. On that, I will have um, I'll have um, some dressing. What kind of dressing? Uh, it's like a Thai basil dressing. Is it a vinaigrette or is it just Thai basil dressing? It's like a vinaigrette Thai basil dressing. All right. No, <laughs> I don't know how else to word that. Um, a vinaigrette, what I, okay. If you do it, you dip your spoon into the salad and the meat and you just, either you dip your fork into the, the seasoning first, the dressing, and then stick it in the salad and eat it. And so you just get the taste or you do it vice versa. Don't pour it all in because you're going to be guaranteed to eat it all. If you can go with a balsamic vinegar, any sort of vinegars, apple cider vinegar, if you can somehow find any of that. I have been, I've increased like vinegar into a lot of, I've replaced vinegar with a lot of stuff. Like I, 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 I don't do soy sauce anymore unless it's a Thank you. Thing. Wait, wait, and then I, oh, okay. And then, and then I'll do, um, and I'll replace everything with vinegar. 
Done. And lemon. All right. So you're still doing great. All right. So. And your enzymes, you're taking those every enzymes meal? Every those day. are kept in yeah. the fridge? Yeah. Yeah, by yeah. the way, why is it kept in the fridge? I couldn't understand it because it looks like a hard form. It is. It's just, uh, it keeps its form better. It's like the probiotic. Got to stay in the fridge. Okay, fine. So how about I have the um, fish oil in the fridge? Sure. All right. So, um, so I have that. Every day. And I'll, I'll increase the, I'll, I'll order an extra tuna in with this, with the salad I do. Okay. Some kind of, and then I'll also do egg whites as well. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll Where are you getting egg whites? I hard boiled a bunch of eggs and I take them. Okay, in. great for you. And then you're, uh, so this is about three o'clock when you have this meal. Right, I'll do, I'll do one at 12, one at three. All right, and then you're off to the gym by five. Yeah. Say so the 5 p.m. looks like a your pre-workout drink about 30 minutes before training. What does that consist of now? Like a like a 3D with some beta. Okay. So it's your just your regular bells and whistles pre workout drink, get up and go. Right. And you go to the gym and you train for an hour. How long? I'll train for an hour. Okay. Um, and then I'll do cardio. Okay. So then you're not gonna have some cardio. Uh, is this hit training? Is this steady state? What is this? It's pretty decent. It's like basically I'll do like a um, I'll do Mondays and Wednesdays are. Five o'clock. Tuesdays are later because I have like uh, things I have to do after work, and like about seven thirty for an hour. And then Thursdays are my longer days. I'll, I'll, I'm working out on my own on Thursdays, and I'll start working out like around six to eight. And at that time, I'm okay. But your cardio, what is that? Is oh, it, my cardio is is it usually, steady state or so steady state? Yeah, no, I'll do up. I'll, I'll go for anyway. an hour. Yeah, uh, no. Uh, Des describe to me your minutes. cardio right now. Okay, so along with my bike riding to and from work okay. and everywhere, okay. which I incorporate in my Fair enough. Thing, I'll do like a treadmill uh, or a. I'll do either a treadmill on a run or I'll do it on an incline okay. for 20 to 40 minutes. Are you finding a lot of value in that bike ride? Well, for commuting purposes, it's great. And yes. actually, I do get Not a for bit of, I mean, for cardio. Yeah, no, I mean, I just, it's in the supplement. I, I, have you ever seen a fat contractor? And they work their butt off all day long. Right. So they would say that that's cardio too, but it's not. So I don't want to take right. away from going, I, I rode the bike to the gym. No, 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 no. You know I, what I mean? It's more of just like, okay, at least I got the bike in if I didn't oh, have to. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always try to incorporate cardio. After. Good attitude. And Done. I also, and I also, and I'll, or I'll do a run. It's nice out, that kind of stuff. Okay. But, um, but, and I'll try to keep my heart rate you know, after my workouts at like 130, so not to burn muscle. Which okay. I saw from your thing as well. I got the, I changed the, uh, the um, heart rate monitor to the polar. Right. Okay, now, so we'll go, we'll, 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 finish, we'll clean this up with the notes afterwards, but okay. now let's go to, um, let's go to this, this part. Okay, fine. So, did you see I have that? Okay, I um, put that in. I don't feel the rush so much though when, um, you know. It's because you're not depleting your system. When you spike your insulin levels and they are depleted, it's a rush. If you don't deplete your insulin levels, you're not going to get the rush. So what you're telling me is, well, I love this because I even got it on film, is I'm saying, hey, you can't have these at these times, you can't do this, you can't do this, and you're kind of doing it wrong. And then you come back and tell me that physically you're not feeling uh, the adjectives in the paragraph that I sent you two months ago. And in coming full circle, it's because you're not doing what I asked you to do in the first place. So ideally, is I, by the time I take the DGC during my workout, I'm depleted of insulin and that'll give me the... You think, I'll know by your numbers on your watch. Right, okay. Well that's if, you're, if you're not burning the calories you're supposed to be, then no. Okay. All right, fine. So, I, got, <laughs> I, got, I know, I know. I got, it's gonna, actually, this is gonna be a difficult part. So now, the, I got the, um, the Udo's oil, so okay. that's fine. Um, okay, so now the heart rate. Now look, here's the thing. When I was here for the first time with you, we hit like 174. I kept my heart rate up at like, you know, one... You killed it. Third, yeah. Since then, I have had an extraordinarily difficult time trying to duplicate that. Yeah. No matter what I'm doing, I can have it on 110, I'm at 120, I'll hit 125. I have a hard time going farther than that. And I'm tr trying as hard as I can, okay? Maybe there are times when I'm, I know that, you know, if you were in front of me, I'd try harder, but like, I am literally, you know. No, wait, 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 wait. I want you to repeat that. I'm trying as hard as I can, but I know if you were standing there, I could probably try harder. Right. So you and lied I, to yourself. I, I mentally think about you being there in okay. order to give myself the extra push. But you started off with, I lied to myself. You're not trying as hard as you can. If a bear was chasing you, remember all the, <laughs> remember the little girl hanging off the cliff? Remember, you know, it was your, I, I distinctly remember that. It was your niece. Yeah. And if she was hanging off that cliff, could you bring her back up? Every, could you lunge a thousand lunges with 50 pounds in each hand to bring her off that cliff? 
to, to you know what I mean? Wherever you gotta go, that heartache, that, that whatever. It's finding that chip on your shoulder. As soon as I brought those memories to you, that's what it was. It's not Kimberly. It's Kimberly whispering some mean stuff in your ear. And, and all that is, is your personal experiences coming out. It could be positive. It could be, you know, I, I want this relationship to work. It could be, um, oh no, if I don't do this, people won't show up to my, to my event. Or it could be your niece hanging off a cliff. So we'll go back over some of that stuff mentally, and you'll be able to get there. I promise. Very good, because that's been that was been, that's been a real difficult thing for me. It's like getting my my numbers to. You yeah, know. without those numbers, you. I mean, it's. It's a killer. It was very frustrating because I felt like I was um, not able to kind of get to that, get back to where I was. Well, we're going to prove to you today that that's just a mental thing. Okay, good. Um, all right, and then another thing too, when I'm when I'm working out really hard and I'm lifting and I'm pushing, I notice that I'm getting like. Um, Stress in my lower back. Yep, it's um, normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's a secondary muscle, though, almost everything. Uh, a lot of people get it when they do abs. They say, oh, my back hurts, my back hurts. Well, it's your back's not strong. So you're trying to do something, and, and the secondary muscle hurts. It's like uh, if I have you do 400 push ups, your back will hurt the next day. Because it engaged at a certain point when the primary muscle groups were, were just annihilated. So, how do you, what do you do about that? You get a stronger back. Now, are we talking about the entire back, or are we talking about lower the back. back? Lower back. Lower back. All right. Okay, is fine. your entire back hurting? No, just lower back. Yeah. But I'll do the other. I'll do the. I'll do the, the you know, lat pull downs. I'll do the, the, the. Unless I look at your spinal erectors and I see some bad boy muscles popping through there, I'm gonna go par for the course. They'll stop hurting when they get stronger. All right. Fine. When and then and then honestly, you'll get annoyed that your back doesn't hurt because you still want these bad boy muscles down there. You know, it helps finish off the tree and everything else. So you'll have to actually train it harder to make it feel the way it does by default that you're complaining about now. So actually, you're, that's, a, that's a very positive thing if you change your perception. Okay, fine. So let's incorporate that into the workout. <laughs> we don't have to. Your back's already sore. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean the, the, the lower back workout. Sure. All right. So then, um, all right, fine. So I'm good there. And fine. So that's that. So now let's go on to the workout. So then what I'll do is now, work. Now, being specific, we're talking sore, uncomfortable. Um, Pain is, is not necessarily the best word, but it definitely discomfort. It basically is limiting me from pushing as hard as I can because I think I'm going to strain my lower back mentally. That's fine. And what, what exercise is this? Anything, even like shoulder press, you know, bench press, not so much. Shoulder press is your back um, against the... Yeah, even my back against the thing. Then yeah, don't worry about it. If your back is stacked, it will take like, from, I think 1,500 pounds or 1,200 pounds. The second you turn it, you turn those the spinal, uh, then you're done. Okay. So think about uh, the squat. You see this guy doing a thousand pound squat. How could he ever do that? Well, a lot of guys get hurt when they go heavy because as they're on their way up, they somehow move, they tweak, they do something, and when the the spine does that, with all that weight, blows. Yeah. So as long as you're keeping perfect form, and your back is up against the rest instead of sticking out where everybody's trying to do front delts instead of real shoulders. As long as you're following the protocol for the perfect exercise, enjoy the pain. Okay. All right. All right. Now I start every workout, as we discussed here, most every workout with um, shoulder raises. Not most every workout. Every workout, with the exception of if I'm working out with like, like a trainer that wants to like do something on his own. But most every time I'll do my own. So the trainer doesn't want you to warm up your shoulders? No. He'll be like like if I'm like running late to his, like to a session with him, I'll even bring the paper with him, and I'm like, let's go do the paper. We've got the paper. So you're running late to the session, and he says. Let's get right into the workout and don't warm up. What I usually do is because the because the the warm up the total warm up is not in here. I'll, I just would do it on my own, primarily like prior to working out. You will have apples for shoulders, rear delts to die for, front delts that separate from your chest like bricks. If you follow that warm up for a year straight, it's, I've I've been doing it like I'd say you know extraordinarily regularly, and I or I've already noticed it. Okay. Not just in them. Um, I forget what we started with, with the weight was. Okay. Up. Do you remember what it was? 10 or 15. Right. So like, I'm already up to 20 pounds right now. So <laughs> well, we're going to check yeah, out your form, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I, 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 Sometimes I don't go higher than 20s, so I'd like to see this. Well, you know, I'm sure I'm doing it wrong, but, you know, in the less, the uncomfortable ones, in the comfortable segments of the workout, I've not, I don't do as much. Okay. Um, but for the most part, everything else here has been, has been good. Okay. Um, you know, flat bar, dumbbell, chest lifts, annoying. Um, knee ups, 
Perfect. Can you have some Roman chairs, same thing? Is that like the, the no. to add things? No, uh, Roman chairs is when you're seated on a fixed position. Sometimes you can be scissor Roman chairs. There's a thousand different words for all these things, but. Yeah. Um, and I'll Google them. I'll like, you know, YouTube yeah. them when, I, when, I, when I'll see them here. But the, the app aspect of what you told me to do, I think that I incorporated that every workout. Very, very, very helpful. Okay. Um, I'll show you. I'll do you show know you. why? Because you really, really want abs, right? Now, if you follow the diet and, and ask yourself this, I haven't probably missed a single one of the ab trainings. For some reason, my body just remembers that I haven't manipulated myself to do anything else other than David's ab training. I paid him for that. But yeah, somehow, thinning the skin that shows off all the hard work for the abs, I won't follow. Okay, so it's funny because I actually wondered why. So when I came in here, I was like 170, 170-ish pounds, give or take. Uh, 170, 173, that kind of thing. I started the diet and I actually put on weight. I thought I was putting on muscle, but I apparently I had pretty good. Well, that makes sense because either um, you could have been put on muscle fair, uh, but also if you're not reaching the calories that we did in here, that I said, hey, you've got it on your watch. I've got it on video. I can show you that you did this. I'm going to write your diet accordingly right. to these calories or something similar to these calories going out. And I even give you a cushion, you know, three or 400 calories in case you don't reach the crazy numbers with Kimberly, right? But if you didn't come anywhere near those numbers, then you're right. Not only did you adjust the diet, put your carbs at the wrong time, but you didn't burn as many calories in the total day. And so you're, you're main. Putting in more than, yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so I'll show you my numbers too, just so you can see where I'm at. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, the workouts are, you know, you know, are good. I'm, you know, everything gets, you know, gets done in this. I follow this. There will be days where, you know, I'll might, I might, you know, mix it up a little bit, um, uh, but for the most part, everything has been Okay, solid. for me, mixing it up would be either gaining your weight, or excuse me, raising your weight, or lessening your weight and doing more reps. These are the exact, exact, very well put together exercises to build every part of your body. So when you once again decide to change something different, I mean, okay, let's, let's be real. I could have you sitting right here doing um, bent over rear delts. But let's say there's no dumbbells around and all the benches are taken. Go ahead and go over to the machine. That's fair. But if you're changing out the exercise and it's not going to hit the muscle group intended on this piece of paper, then that muscle group might get uh, might not get hit. And then you know, and then you're another week behind on that on that exact muscle group. So just if you do change them, just make sure that you're still hitting that muscle group. Right. And I think as far as the workout goes, I think I've been pretty accurate. The one big thing about this. Um, the routine that I've changed in my overall okay. workouts has been legs. I've been, you know, I have been, you know, incorporating legs a lot more than I ever have. Okay. Calves especially. Show me legs. Um, all right. So what are you doing differently for legs? All right. So. Um, this is back. All right. So let's see. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So starting you off with leg extensions and leg curls on a superset. Right. What have you been doing that? I have. Okay, so we're moving on forward. Now our legs are warm. What else are we doing? Uh, Front squats and more leg curls. Are you doing the rest of your leg curls? Yes. So you're doing um, eight total sets in your first four sets. Yeah. Or excuse me. Okay, so, and you're doing your front squats. Yeah, and that's another one that I have problems with. And you'll see, yes. But you are doing them? Yes. Okay, so then we're moving on into straight legged deadlifts and good mornings. You're doing those? Yes. That should have your back just screaming. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. perfect. Uh -huh. And then a calf machine and calf raises. And then calves have been very good. So okay, been, those aren't super yeah. set. So what are you doing differently than that? Uh, you know, just um, like I find out my, I think this is what I'm, like, like the things like the uh, super straight leg lifts, I do them on my own. I feel like I'm not getting, I'm not doing them right. So I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm not confident okay. in, in getting them done. Good mornings. Um, but you are still doing them? Yes. Yeah. You said you were trading some of these out. So it doesn't sound like you're trading any of them out. Well, you know, like they'll be, when I say trade out, I'll be like, I have a little energy right now and I want to, you know, put on, uh, I want to try to do All right. I love that. So you started off saying, Dave, I'm having a hard time getting my heart rate up, yet training legs, one of the large, largest muscle groups in the body, and you still have energy? In my arms, I do. I promise you, if you trained legs right, you want to go home and puke, lay down, <laughs> sit down, do anything other than work arms. I don't care how bad boy you are, what contest you've got coming up, what whoever you're trying to impress. When you train your legs right, you're done. And you add cardio on after that. On days I have legs, I'll usually like, you know, if I have it, I'll, you know, I'll do a walk or something like that. Okay. 
Um, uh, cardio also, like, you know, I guess, you know, I, I'm not incorporating cardio in every, after every workout because I don't have the time. Sure. But, you know. How many um, days a week are we getting in? Uh, three to four. Okay. And there'll be, well, then there'll be a day where I don't work out and I'll just do cardio. That's fine. Okay. So the most time, I think I'm pretty much working out, I'd say five to six times a week regularly now. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's not. Have you tried to do this eight sets of eight yet? No, I have not done that yet. That's awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah. I've done, I've done various, like the, you know, the things that we did here before, like, you know, the, you know, the one, two, three, eight, then one, two, three, eight. Hey, are you training your arms because you have an anxiety that you kind of want them to get bigger? No. I just sometimes, you know. When my, when every client I've ever had that's kind of just not feeling it that day, they want to train arms. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of my go-to. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's so, easy. It's, just, it's right there. You yes. You go. You don't have to like. So you're at the gym to do something easy. <laughs> I look at it like at least I'm at the gym, but yeah, yeah. No, fair enough. But there's a lot of guys that go to the gym for years and years and years and never train. Sure. How long have you been training? 20 plus years. 20 plus years. Okay. And yeah. now it's time for the change. Yes. So we've been working out all this time. And granted, you've probably been able to maintain your health. Your joints are solid. You're in good shape. But you're not the image of it that you want to be. Correct. And I'm asking you to change what you're normally doing. and. It's always pulling teeth. It's always pulling teeth. This is part for the course, buddy. I've never had anybody come back. <laughs> you know what? I've had one person that took my advice the first time. One person. I looked at him. He came up to the gym. I said, bro, I don't have time for you right now. I'm, I've got 30 second rest. If you stand here, I'll give you my time. If you waste it, you're going to hurt my heart because I'm tired of people wasting my life. And I gave him just a quick equation. Boom, 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 boom. By osmosis, somehow he remembered it. He did more with that literally four minutes than anybody I've ever met. 99, well, I have, I've got a few more than that, but the other 99% of the people, they don't, including myself, when I was given the equation, I wasn't as special as him, I just didn't, oh, follow it. So nobody, this is, this is, I swear to God, part for the course. And we'll even do this again, where your brain will start thinking again and you'll think you know more than what's on this piece of paper. And that's why I wanted to, you know, make sure when I got to LA next that I was gonna, you know, block out your time so I can okay. kind of get back on. I, I knew I was veering. I knew I needed to kind of come in and, 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 and get, get a tune up. So that's- I, I, I told you the story about when I went fishing. Yeah. And I had to pack 49 meals. Yeah. That wasn't easy. <laughs> I got a lot of crap going on, man. Whatever anybody thinks, you could be a mother with 10 kids. You got everybody's got a lot of stuff going on. That's our excuse to our world. Yeah. But sure. if you've been on Facebook five times today, if you've watched uh, 20 minutes of TV, and your goal is to look like the, you know, the picture of health as well as just being healthy, you got time. So, uh, for instance, right now I've got four steaks, bad boy steaks, man. These were expensive, good steaks, and they're frozen, cooked in my freezer. Who would do that to a steak? <laughs> okay, my dad's turning over right now. He just can't even believe that I would do something like that. But no matter what happens, no matter what plane I get on, no matter where I'm at, I can defile that steak and eat it. Even if I'm flying somewhere, I'll put it in, put it in my bag, and by the time it defaws, I'm already to where I'm going. So now it sits in the fridge of the hotel. See what I mean? Okay, all right, so. Yes, yes, yes you do, yes. you see what I mean. I, what I want shoulders I, and abs. I do see. Yes, you. Kimberly, I'm paying you right now to tell me this. <laughs> and you know you are. Which, which you've already told me the first time. Okay, but we're gonna, I mean, yeah. but you already, you're doing a lot of it. Yeah. Okay? No, I, I, I literally, you know, I, what, what, what is on this paper, I really have incorporated. And I, I, you know. No transition's easy, buddy. Yeah, exactly, I fully get that. It, and you it, know what, the difference between good and great is 10%, so, you know what? It, it's your potential, okay? That, that's what we're going for here. We're not going, I mean, we, we decided potential. All right, fine, so then, well, good there. I would love to do the sets of eight. Then we could do front tomorrow. We could do that. Okay. Um, and then uh, this is the insane workout. We're working up to that. Okay, great. So when we, we try, whenever, whatever you think we should try to do, I'm happy to do this. I didn't do the insane eye either. I'd love to try that one. But uh, and then every one of the supplements that you recommended here, I, I finally got. Great. So you should be. Do you feel better? Okay. So the supplements have been phenomenal. That's been a really, you know, it's just easy to take it. And I feel that it's it's really helped me okay. to get to where I've gotten. So even though I may put on an extra 10 to 15 pounds of weight on me, I feel that the supplements have really kind of gotten, you know, like, every, like my, whole, my whole body in line in terms of just getting that, like things that I've, I've okay. always And you know I give you stuff that you should give your mother. And some of the other stuff are bells and whistles for building muscles and six packs, okay? But most of that money spent is general health. No, Vitamin B, I got people, oh, you taking all these pills? I got them lined up down the street. 
I'm taking vitamin B, guys. There's some uh, vitamin C in there too. Well, he looks like, uh, well, yeah, well, you know, vitamin C, you can take it like three or four or five or six times a day because it, you know, it goes through your system and it's, and it's done being digested and you can take it again. Whoa, well, you're taking too many pills. Anyway, okay, so. So the only, there's a couple questions I wanna ask you about the, um, about this stuff. Okay, so, okay. Um, let's just see here. All right, so, great website, by the way. Um, so the DDC is fine. I got that. I put that in. Okay, the whey protein. That's not. A, that's, that's not a problem at all. Um, this is the Udo's. It's got that. No worries. Okay, so this is um, the, con uh, the creatine extreme. Concrete. Okay, that's that's carnitine. That. I got that. That's fine. Uh, what's this one here? Carnitine. Carnitine. Yeah. Well, what exactly is that? Uh, it helps your body burn fat. Okay. That's the It's non stimulant. Right. That's yeah, non, not yeah. a stimulant. So just tell us about it. And you have that in the diet like three times a day, I think? It two, is? Times. two times. Two yeah. times. Okay, okay, then there is 3D. Fine. I got their version of the 3D. Fine. Um, okay, the beta uh, alanine. I noticed that like, I get like a, a, like a, a tingly sensation. And, yes. What is that all about? Uh, what is that, what is that it's almost like niacin, where, where uh, it, it, it like brings the blood to the skin and there, there is a tingling. So that's just one of, the, one of the feelings that you get from it. And it's probably, it's also, you are got to add, because we're upping the beta alanine, which should be in your pre-workout drink anyway. Yeah. So you're, you're, yeah, you're getting both. So you're getting that, the mixture of the extra beta alanine with the pre-workout, which is amplifying that tingling. All right, okay. All right, so that's, that, that's good. Um, the Beta alanine, okay, that's, that's there. Okay, then there's the life force, which is a multivitamin. Yep. Okay, good. All right. Um, the husk. husk. What's the husk? Yeah. Psyllium husk. That's your fiber. You said you were taking it in the pill form. Right. I prefer it. Um, and, and my favorite thing in the world is glucomannan. Right. Now that's that's a that's the you know what they make the miracle noodles out of. It's no calories. It's what a is gel. It? It's literally a gel. Okay. I make the neatest puddings and stuff out of this stuff. I buy. I bought that in a pill. You, well. Yeah, I take it in the powder. Okay. Because it thickens everything up. Wait, hold on. There's two things. There is the, there was the, um, the case. There was glutamine. And there was another one with a G. That sounds like glutamine. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. There was glutamine. Take a lot of pills. Yeah. There's, there's glutamine. And there's glaco, glac, glac something or other. Glucosamine. Was, yeah. Was that one one? Like For your a, joints? Yeah. Is that? You have bad joints? I don't know. I think it's in. It's on here because right? I bought it. Um, hyperlink for Amazon, I can't even read what that is. What is that? ZMA. Okay, that's sleeping stuff. Glucomannan. It's right here. Right, so there's you that and it. there was another one. There was glucamine and there was another one that sounded like that. There's glutamine? One, glutamine. And glucomannan. Right. And it's different than that. Okay, there are those two. So what, what's the which, which is which? Glut glutamine is an amino acid. It's essential for building muscles and... Uh, it's not essential, but it is for bodybuilders. Right, so I got that. That's I got that, and I got that in a pill in a powder form. And I'll throw that in my shake when I make a pound, when I make a shake, yep. and I'll have it in a pill in the morning if I'm like, beautiful. Now. But you're getting all five grams. Yes. So, yes, five but grams. you're not taking this the serving size. Serving size is probably less than that. Uh, I think the serving size is five grams. Okay, good. I'll, I'll double check, but uh, most of them it is, but I just double check. Oh, okay. Um, and then the other the other one. Glucomannan. Is what? Yes, glucomannan. Exactly. Glucomannan is fiber. It's gel. It goes in and uh, makes you feel full. It also helps keep your uh, digestive tract and you know your crapper working at optimal level. Right. So yeah, so that's all that stuff. I'll, that goes in in the morning. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that in the morning. And then that with the fish oil. I'll do fish oil like three fish oils a day, two to three a day. Yep. Okay. And uh, the udos. Udos is additional. You're taking fish oil with udos. I'm taking my fish oil pills. Yep. Two to three a day. That's not how I have that written. Well, you didn't have fish oils in here at all. You're right because I gave you udos oil. But yeah, but you did tell me It's the same thing as omegas. No, I know it is. I know it is. Then why would you double it up? So two things. Number one, I'm not always able to get the udos in all the time, okay. as much as you want. And number two... Um, Are you at your house twice a day? In the morning and at night? Yeah. Then there's no possible way you could be missing it. So it's just two tablespoons of udos oil a day. And that's I have it written good. right here saying take it at night and take it in the morning. Okay, fine. So then I'm doing pretty good. So you don't think there's no, there's no reason to do fish oil in addition to that? No, because it's the exact same thing. Okay, and if I miss the udos oil... You can't, because you're at your house twice a day. We just went over that. <laughs> All right, okay, fine. Would you just take a spoonful and just eat, eat a spoonful? I'd take a pull from the bottle. You do? Yeah. Um, now, in theory, we don't bacteria and things to get in it, so I'll literally just take it off my mouth. I, I don't ever measure it. Okay. But, I, I mean, I'll take 
and, and what you should do is pour in your tablespoon, take two or three shots of that, and then you always know what yeah. it is. So two, <clears> or three, two or three tablespoons. A tablespoon is the serving. Yeah. You'll do that for two or three days. So you'll have had six tablespoons and you'll always know the amount that is so you can free shot it. Got it, got it. Now, another way to do it is uh, if you have a concern that you're gonna take too much or not enough, then you put a shot glass or something like that in the fridge and just put that spoon back in there so you're not washing a spoon every single day. Right. I do the same thing with my blender. I, never, I wash my blender once a week. So you do two shots of Udo's? Every day. Every day, got it. Okay. Now that's 240 calories. Okay. So when I said, hey, watch your fats, well, little do you know, I just gave you 240 grams of fat. You and you're adding fish oil on top of it and you're having almonds? I don't have many almonds. You would be surprised how much this, I, I wrote a poem about a can of beans, okay? <laughs> almonds, <laughs> even almonds at night, and the, the almonds made it in it in that can of beans and I'm sitting there just dying inside and I go, even almonds will make you fat at night. It rhymed, but they will. Even a scoop of almonds, how sad is my life? Okay, so let me ask you, eating almonds or nuts for that matter during yeah. the day yeah. is not good either? No, it's fine. It's just, if you adjust, uh, once you understand what I do, use your own head right now. So, and you're trying to. And what's happening is you're not reaching your goals two months later and you've still been working out every day. You do look better, you're probably stronger. I mean, I, I, I see a difference for sure. But we're sitting here going over this because we're changing things. Um, if, if you said, I mean, even if we came up with three diets, because you pay me by the hour, so we come up with three diets. And, and you'd say, what if I did this, this, and this? Well, then do this. What if I don't want to do this, this, and this, this day, and it's just a wreck and I'm out? And I, let's say I'm on vacation, I didn't bring my Udo's oil, David. Ha ha ha, I'm not at my house twice a day. Then we would come up with that. So if you're gonna take a fat out of here, put it out of here. Either way around, I've got you at, let's say, 40 grams of fat a day, 60 grams of fat a day. And I've got you at 200 grams of protein and 200 carbs, whatever it might be. As long as you hit those numbers, I'm happy. Okay. And let me ask you, if I can't, I'm traveling and I can, I'm not carrying Udo's oil, can I do the fish? Yes, uh, all day, and that is great. I, I like that. Fish, like, so about three pills a day, basically. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, if you have a fridge at work, you said you did? Yeah. So leave your fish oil there in case you do forget, and it does happen, where you leave the house without taking your fish oil. Let me ask you, it doesn't have to be refrigerated, right? It doesn't what? It doesn't have to be refrigerated, right? Fish yes, it does. It does. It does. Because, I, I, you know, when they sell it at the store, it's not yeah. refrigerated. Yeah. I, I buy mine in a fridge. If uh, I had a homeopathic, real good friend of mine, her name is Michelle, and she basically looked at me and she's like, Dave, think about it rancid fish oil encompassed in a capsule so you can't smell it but it's been sitting in some warehouse for months in a hundred hundreds and hundreds of degrees weather and then you put it in your body oh and let's all complain about fish burps so we now we're not going to take our fish oil little did you know you bought the cheapest standard stuff out there i've got you buying something that's been refrigerated since day one Great, so we're good. Let's get started. What do you want to, so do you want to do legs or you want to do this? I want to do what you want to learn. <laughs>